we're here at Kubicon 2018 in Seattle, Washington, and I'm speaking with Laceworks. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're doing here at Kubicon? Sure, so Laceworks is a cloud security company. We run our service 100% natively in the cloud, and our goal is to protect all of your workloads and all your infrastructure in the cloud. And uh, of course, we're really excited to be here at KubeCon because we've launched a brand new feature which allows you to secure Kubernetes and the deployment of Kubernetes regardless of where you've deployed your Kubernetes infrastructure. And how do you fit into the Kubernetes uh, ecosystem? So Kubernetes, what we've released here at KubeCon is a brand new set of functionality which allows security people to get visibility, deep visibility into their Kubernetes infrastructure. So we, gives you, we give you visibility of your nodes, your pods, your clusters, and your namespace, and then we detect threats that are going against any of those at any point in time. With all of that, we uh, allow you to protect your infrastructure and give you alerts based off of threats that could be going against your nodes or your pods, or potentially people that are compromising any of those at any point in time. And are there specific problems uh, that, that you're trying to solve in the Kubernetes um, you know, environment? So the thing that is really salient right now about KubeCon is that just recently, within the last two weeks, there was the first known or highly publicized vulnerability against Kubernetes, specifically against the Kubernetes API server. Right. And so one of the big things that people are talking a lot about is, how do I manage the complexity of my Kubernetes service? How do I know when my API service may be open to the internet? Or where my Kubernetes management console may be open to the internet? So it's all about managing those risks. And then if there's a threat that surfaces, you really want to know, has someone breached my infrastructure in some way? And then how can I alert or alarm my security people and bridge that gap between DevOps, the developers, and of course security to understand when something is going wrong within my infrastructure itself? And I guess if you had a crystal ball, where would you see the future uh, of this industry going over the next 12 months to a year? So the Kubernetes train is moving very, very fast, uh, you know, arguably faster than any enterprise open source project we've ever seen. So uh, you know, things always change in this industry, but the time is really being compressed about how fast it's changing. So there's a lot of talk around service message, uh, you know, service meshes and the ability to you know, mesh my infrastructure in a way. Um, so I think we're going to see a continued amount of attacks that are going against Kubernetes. Um, you know, I think there's also a lot of really exciting things about managing Kubernetes and using Kubernetes built-in security and then having an overlay on top of it which somebody like a Lacework, which allows you to combine kind of the best of open source and the best of commercial security in a service across your public cloud infrastructure. So really exciting times to come. Uh, would it be possible for us to maybe take a look at the product? Yeah, definitely. Let's do a demo. Let's take a look at what, uh, what we offer. So what are we going to look at? All right, so what we're going to look at is the new features uh, that we launched at KubeCon of Lacework, which is a specific set of Kubernetes features built directly in the product for securing your Kubernetes infrastructure. So this is our main dashboard. This is, I said, is a SaaS service. Um, there's nothing to install in premise at all. It's all 100% uh, delivered as a service. First thing you'll notice is we give you visibility into your clusters, your nodes, your containers, and your pods. And then we have an event stream which tells you if there's high alerts, medium, of course, different types of critical alert mechanisms that are happening within your environment itself. We also, of course, have the ability to send these alerts anywhere, whether it's PagerDuty or Slack channel or something else. And we're going to take a look at one of our key differentiators, which is something called the polygraph. The polygraph itself gives you a, a graphic visualization of everything that's happening with your infrastructure at the cluster level, at the namespace level, and most importantly, at the pod level. So as we talked about earlier, one of the, the, the key threats that's happening right now is the CVE against your API servers. So what we're going to visualize here is you can see that external connections are going to my API server, and then they're connecting to other nodes within my infrastructure. So clearly something is going wrong there. Of course, we can drill into any of these and pivot into any of them in real time. Now let's take a look at what some of those events look like in the event stream. So you can see here that first what happened was there was an IP address that happened to connect to Nginx. Then they connected to my API server. 
and a new set of IP addresses actually successfully SSH to my boxes themselves, which was really dangerous. The end result was that there was actually a new application installed that installed a cryptocurrency miner. So if we drill into that, we don't just give you the, the visibility into threats that, that uh, started in the, uh, in the kill chain, but then we actually finish it by saying, oh, this application was installed on this machine, connected to this domain, and we know that it's a cryptocurrency miner, and then we give you a set of related events. So everything's included directly within the dashboard. It allows you to go from a risk all the way through to a breach or a threat, and we give you visibility into all this data, and you can even go back in time to do full forensics on all of it. So that's a quick overview of it. We're super excited about the Kubernetes release and uh, what's more to come. Great. Well, thanks for taking the time to speak with VMblog. Thank you.